So, Becky, what do you think when you look at now and see the water looking normal? Well, it's great. I think it's wonderful. And I, and I think it will only get better. Becky Harris is talking about the Army Corps of Engineers not discharging water from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie River for the first summer in years. She and others believe that decision is what is keeping the waterway algae free. Oh, it's like night and day. It's just beautiful right now. Usually this time of year, you anticipate dirty, smelly water. Whatever they're doing, they're doing right with that lake. As a scientist and an angler and a water user, I'm thrilled. This is, uh, this is the best summer we've had in probably four years, and we're hopeful that this is a sign of movement in the right direction. People are jet skiing, boating, and fishing in water they were afraid to touch last year. Toxic blue-green algae killed wildlife, closed businesses, and had people putting their homes on the market. It was bad. I know, I know we thought maybe we should move. And that was before Becky's dog Pandora became one of six dogs poisoned by fish in the river. So she was the first dog. So um, they, weren't, they weren't really sure what was going on. She spent four days in the hospital. The vet that took care of her was very dire. I mean, she had very little hope she was gonna pull through. All Pandora did was take a quick bite of a dead catfish on the bank. She was lucky. Standard Poodle Finn died a horrible death, according to his owners, after he too ate part of a dead fish. A necropsy showed he had alarmingly high levels of microcystin throughout his body. Officials knew microcystin, the toxin in blue-green algae, was harmful. Dying dogs brought it front and center. What do we want? Clean water. Where do we want it? In response to protests, outraged lawmakers, and continued pressure, the Army Corps of Engineers this spring released water from Lake Okeechobee ahead of the rainy season, keeping the summer level several feet lower than usual. Since then, toxic algae has bloomed on the lake in several places. But with the dam shut, the algae has not moved east to the river, and the waters are clear. To me, visually, it's an A. It's the cleanest water we've seen in, in years. We've Dr. Zach Judd says water from septic tanks, farms, and dirty canals have all continued to filter into the river. But the one difference is that Lake Okeechobee has not gushed out millions of gallons of toxic water on top of it. There's a clear link between Lake Okeechobee discharges and toxic cyanobacteria in our coastal estuaries. Right now, we are getting freshwater discharges from local canals into our estuary, and that's not a good thing. But because we're not seeing any Lake Okeechobee water this summer, we're not seeing any toxic cyanobacteria here in the coast. It's that simple. Judd and Becky both are cautiously optimistic, hoping the Corps sees the improvement and continues its new plan. We're all in this together and we all want a solution.